cardiovascular complications of Turner syndrome. So let's start first with the cardiac complications of Turner syndrome. So we'll have three problems. Okay, so what's number one, which is the most common, is bicuspid aortic valve. Normally the aortic valve has three cusps or valve. No, or three cusps like are parts of the valve. This one has only two cusps. That's number one. What about number two? Number two is a coarctation of the aorta, which is in a separate video that will, I will link in the description. And here we have preductal, i.e. prior to the ductus, preductal coarctation of the aorta. Okay, what's number three is aortic root dilatation, which will lead to aortic regurgitation and it will increase the probability of aortic dissection. This is bad. Why? Because a dilated root is weak and more liable to dissection. Okay, so bicusp aortic valve preductal coarctation of the aorta and aortic root dilatation and maybe dissection. These are the cardiac. So this is the number one most common, number two and number three in this order. So what are the vascular complications of this disease? Essential hypertension or primary hypertension in 50% of cases of Turner syndrome, there is hypertension. That's why we have to treat it vigorously. Please subscribe to get new videos every week. And let me know in the comment section which videos would you like to be released. And I will make it.